Inside your Plan Plus online account, as you look at contacts, and this also applies to organizations and opportunities, but you see the list of the contacts. Now let's look at one of these contacts in particular. Now I see a, a smattering of, of information here around this particular contact. I see the display name and the classification and, and the next action field. But what if I wanted to track more information about this particular contact? Well, you can do that quite easily. In the first place, you can go into Layout here, and I'm looking at this particular layout. Now this is laid out to be three columns. We can make this just two columns. That makes it a little bit tidier, easier to deal with, but you see you have three columns available. And here I can go ahead and add another field here if I wanted to. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to add a custom field, and the custom field is going to be action right here. So I've got next action and then action, which is a string field. Go ahead and submit that, and you'll see how easy that is now that if I go back into that same contact record, I have added the custom field called action. Now furthermore, I can go back in here and I can modify, as you can see, uh, as I've done before, I, I can modify the label. So let me just do that. I'll just clean this label up a little bit. I can add any other sort of word that I want. And I can also add a color. Not that I often need to do that, but there may be some reason for doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and make that one blue and submit this again. Again, no, no particular order of which contact you look at because this will apply to all the contact records now. So here I have the next action and the action. So I very quickly added that field. Very nice, very clean, very straightforward. Now the question is, how about those fields? What kind of fields do you want to add? So if I go into account, go down here to the bottom, I see my custom fields right here. I can look for the particular area I have organization. Here's contact. That's what I was just dealing with. So if I open this up, I can see all of these fields that are associated with contact. Now if I wanted to add a new field, very easy. I go down here and I create a new field and say uh, spouse's first name, for example. Now, I don't want this to be a long name, so I'm just going to say spouse. And go over here, and that's going to be a character string. But look here. I have a choice of so many other different kinds of fields that I might want to add. As you can see, when I drop down here, I have color code, date, and I'm going right off the page. So you can explore those in your own time. But I'm going to go ahead and just make this a, a character string, and it's called spouse. So I submit that, right? That was very simple to do. Now I have a new field that's available in the contact. So by going back into contact, go into Eddie Vedder, for example, but I'm going to go into layout here. I'm going to add that as one of the fields now. So I go in here, grab that field called Spouse. Here it is. I just created it. I want to clean up the label just like I did before. Okay, very good. Leave it Spouse. I don't need to color it. Go ahead and submit that. Go back to, into any of these other organizations. And you'll see now I have added a field. I created a brand new field on the fly, and I added that field now to this contact record. So the spouse's name is Carol. I can go ahead and submit that. And there I have a, a way with which I can add the field. I've added the data. Now I have all the other tools that are available to me. Since I have a data field in the database, I can search for a particular entry in any one of these fields that I've created or I can do all kinds of other things. I can search and maybe send emails to all those who have a spouse, that sort of thing. So a lot of tools, a lot of capability with respect to capturing your data in Plan Plus Online.